Hey, what's going on, y'all? Real quick, I want to do a real quick short video. I hope y'all been having some uh, fun and, and, and been really creative uh, with the, the last video, talking about the SP404 in the live. I'm doing a lot of tinkering, building it up. Um, I want to see a couple features added through the Q-Link. Uh, I need you guys to, to, to help make that happen. All right. If you part of the the if you have the SP4, I'm sorry, the uh, MPC software, sorry about that. Um, at the bottom right of your screen, there's a little smiley face. Can y'all do me a favor and click there and do a feature request and just add on there, add multiple parameters to Q-Links. Add multiple parameters to Q-Links. Now I'm gonna tell you why that's important because we can make some really intricate um, um, effects with our Q-Links and how we use them and stuff like that when we're doing the 404 mode. Nix that. I want to change that. All right. My my stage name, DJ name, DJ A1. I want to change this mode, <laughs> this 404 mode, to 414 mode. I'm from Milwaukee, too. So from here on out, I'm only going to be referring to it as the 414 mode. All right. So when we in 414 mode, the effects that we can make would be incredible if we could add multiple parameters. I'm going to show you what the benefit is. All right. So we go ahead. We build up a template. You know, we, we decide we're going to go perform or just record some elaborate. But let's say perform. So we go ahead. We bring up, bring up our, our 414 more template, 414 mode template. And then what you do is. Let's say you got a reverb on a send, right? Uh, on a return, a spring reverb, and you go ahead and you do a cue link so that when you turn it, it sends to the reverb to the reverb on your return, right? Now, just imagine if you could add another parameter to it that at the same time you do that, you open up the wet dry on your reverb. And then you can add another behavior to it to open up your your uh, reverb time. So when you turn it, now you're controlling all three of those parameters with one Q knob, Q link. And by doing that, now you've created a washout effect that you got on the vocal. So it's like, uh, uh, and it just washes out all for one Q link. That's what being able to program multiple parameters to one knob can do, all right? So please, Click that smiley face, feature requests, flood them with feature requests, multiple parameters for Q-Links, multiple assignable parameters for Q-Links. That's going to help us build this 414 mode like crazy. All right. Now, before I get into that, and I'm going to do another video explaining because I learned a few things uh, over the time, over the last 24 hours about doing these um, um, Q, uh, XY effects, right? Uh, the, for whatever reason, one just keeps dropping my parameters, right? Um, well, you know, I'm not even gonna go to that. I'm gonna do another video and I'm gonna explain to, I'm explaining to you how to get over it. Okay. Um, but what I wanted to bring, do on this video was talk about clip mode. Nobody uses clip mode. Nobody uses clip mode at all. People are buying 401, uh, 404s, right? Include myself buying 404s to perform and stuff. Um, but that's all the 414 is, is, is clips. And we have a clip mode on the live with tons of effects that we can map, right? Right? There were certain things that we were lacking. We couldn't do the repeats and stuff like that and the tape stop. But now we got those and just now it's just a matter of programming them and, and tapping them in. But your live, if you want to travel with it, is the most powerful 414, 404. <laughs> That's why we call it the 414. It's the next step up. <laughs> it's the most powerful 404 in the world. And you already got it. Right? Um, but I'm going to show you the power of clip, clip mode. So clip mode, it works as a program. So you can keep it as just one sequence. You don't have to program it. You can go in there. So like for me, when I do my, my, my beats and stuff, I, when I export it, I export it in, in, in buses. Okay. So I'll export all the drums on one, two track. 
I'll export all the instruments on another two track. I'll export all the vocals on another two track, right? And that makes it where when I send it to somebody to the final, like give it a final good mix on it, or if I do it in, in, in Logic or whatever other studio I'm working in or program I'm working in, um, the idea is there. They're just cleaning up my idea, right? But another benefit of that is, so I keep all, I get all my drunk uh, 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 loops. I get to keep all of them, right? And then you get a sample pack or whatever, or you can use one of your beats. Uh, but you get one of your sample packs. You get a sample pack. All my sample pack triggers are right here, broken down, different. Now, I'm working in clips like I would on the 404, and I got the effects. Here, let me let, let me show you. Let me show you. mode clip mode so real quick i didn't have none to practice or whatever but clip mode this really turns this thing into a 404 but with all the power it's the next level of level up the elevation it's the 414 but i'm gonna do a video detailing everything detailing clips detailing uh how to set your your cue links different strategies uh i am going to do a template if those people for those people that don't like to do all of that they just like to have it and i got you I got you. <laughs> I'm going to do some templates for that. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to go over that real quick. All right. Um, keep creating, y'all. I'll see y'all in a little bit. All right. Peace.